All right, guys, check this out. We've got some lithium batteries here. These are the Headway 8 amp hour cells. These are from thebatteryhookup.com. I bought these. They did not provide these. But these are what I use. So basically right here, I've got four of these in series. We'll make a 12.8 volt pack, which is exactly what we need for car audio. It basically works like any other 12 volt battery. And I have 48 cells right here. So I've got four here and I've got 44 more right here ready to go. And these are the bus bars I'm going to use to connect these together. I machined these myself. Pretty nice. Uh, and basically what happens here is the bolts will go down in here that hold on top. And then these threaded portions here are for the main lugs, the battery terminals, so you can attach stuff down to them. You can see right here, I've recessed them just a little bit because one of the things that you guys want to take care of and keep in mind whenever you're building one of these cells is that inside of here, they come with these screws, but I like to use a different kind. They're M6. <laughs> they're M6 and they're a Phillips head. And I like to use a stainless steel um, cap bolt. But one of the problems you're gonna run into is that on the negative terminal here, it's only about five millimeters deep. Okay, so that's not a lot. So if you try to run a really long bolt, you know, it's not gonna work. So this is quarter inch steel. Quarter inch steel is um, 6.35 millimeters. So if you want quarter inch steel, what I've done here is I've bored these down to four millimeters. So this hole right here is four millimeters deep. So four millimeters plus, this is five. What I've done here is I get an eight millimeter long bolt. Very similar to that one. I get an eight millimeter bolt. When I put it on here, it just bolts right up. So I have just a tiny bit of clearance whenever I bolt this on there with the eight millimeter bolt that it holds on there tight and it doesn't bottom out in here. I built these before where it bottoms out in here on the bolt, on a 10 millimeter bolt. So I dropped this down in here a little bit and I went to eight millimeter bolt and I haven't had any problems since I've done that. And uh, I've also got some 96 hour amp hour banks right here. This bus bar is for a 96. You can see it has 12 in a row. This one has 12 in a row and this one has 10 in a row. They also have in between the main lugs. You can see here they'll have an odd number of lugs and an even number of batteries. This one has two more. So that's an 80 and it's a 96 right there. Also, in case you guys are wondering, some size wise, if you want to build these at home, the 80 amp hour is about not quite 15 and a half, 15 and 3 eighths, somewhere around there. And the 96 amp hour is almost exactly 18 and a half. So 18 and a half inches is how long these cells are going to be whenever they're built. So I'm going to do a whole video uh, assembling and, and uh, balancing and everything you need to know to build these cells right here uh, by yourself. You can buy bus bars online. I made these myself because they were a lot cheaper for me to make them. And of course I've got my bolts and stuff over here. We're going to use to connect everything together and right here you can see once again these are headway lithium 3.2 per cell and these are uh, 2019 date coded uh, also these went down in price in literally just the last week since i bought i literally bought all these and then they went down one dollar per cell so i have an extra 50 bucks worth of cells right here so if you want to buy these you go ahead and buy them right now. They're $6 a piece for these cells. That's a screaming deal. And uh, you can build this whole pack here for about $400.